All right, it is time for another round of uh, the rogue, uh, the rogue, the rogue, the roguelike roulette. I forgot to actually record the uh, roguelike roulette for. Uh, that's actually a weird tongue twister. I didn't expect it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I forgot to record the uh, the roulette spinning for uh, Dungeon of the Endless. And uh, I felt kind of bad about that. Anyway, so we've got... I, I've changed the options. I've added some new ones. I can't see what they are. Uh, what did I switch in and out? I think I put in Tangle Deep and... Tangle Deep and... Do, 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 do. Is it like Lost Castle? No, Tangle Deep and Subterrain are new additions to the wheel. Uh, mainly because I played seven episodes worth of Dungeon the Endless and uh, Kingsway. And I figured I'd take them off for at least a little while, because as much as I like both games, uh, playing them again so soon might make it feel kind of stale. So instead, I'm just going to constantly cycle in some new roguelikes here and there, and uh, hopefully that'll keep things feeling fresh and interesting. Anyway, what am I going to play today? What? What do you, what do you mean I was logged out? What? Alright, let's try that again. Spin the wheel. There we go. So what game am I going to play tonight? Monster Slayers! Oh, people have been asking for this for a while. And I am more than happy to uh, capitulate. Hello. Oh, this game has a fast mode. All right, let's start with that. All right, uh, so technically we already did the intro with uh, the roguelike roulette, but hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Monster Slayers. It's a card-based roguelike, much in the same style as, uh, in the same style as Slay the Spire. Uh, but slightly more like meta progression, and I think more like defined classes. So it could be kind of fun. A lot of people have been specifically asking for this for a while. And, uh, well, we're finally able to do so. So I'm gonna quickly check the settings, music, sound. I'm gonna turn down the sound effects. I'm not a big fan of sound effects, generally. I mean, I like them, but they're just loud. Anyway, slot one. More recruits for our guild, huh. We have too many already. Everyone wants to join the Monster Slayers Guild these days. Send them to the Northern Valley and have them report to the guild masters there. Let's hope they're quick learners. They're about to be thrown into the deep end. Your character. Okay, so yep, looks like everything's working properly. So we can pick... Oh, interesting. So we have... The lower ones are probably the advanced classes. I can straight up just be a dragon. Become a powerful dragon, no merchants, weapons, armor. But you gain free elemental damage per attack. That's amusing. So, uh, I believe the the red classes are uh, probably not locked in. Um, uh, these are the DLC ones. I don't have to unlock them, which is neat. But I think I'm going to probably just roll, what do we think? Knight? Let's do Cleric. <laughs> We can change voices and stuff. That's interesting. Okay, well, can I have, like, a really weird skin color? Nope, guess not. I guess let's just... I don't know. Do we just be a weird-looking anime character? Let's be this weird-looking anime character. And his name is going to be... What is his go name going to be? Oh, people want Necromancer. All right, pick class. I didn't even notice Necromancer was part... Ah, oh, there it is. All right, male. Now, oh, there are different hairstyles for each. Well, let's wear a skull. I mean, if we're a necromancer, it seems only appropriate. Okay, and uh, there we go. All right, the fortified imperial outposts in the northern valley are the last bastions of the empire on its furthest frontier. The monster slayers guild has been hired to assist the imperial army in clearing. The Valley of its Deadly Denizens. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a true monster slayer. Alright. So here's Lost Monster Slay in level one. Uh, I'm not sure any of these things. Okay. Let's see. And this isn't. This doesn't look like it's too lo loud for any of you guys. So we have unlocks and trophies. Oh, boy! Uh, that's something. Open inventory. Sell junk items. Close inventory. Well, the tutorial. Welcome to Monster Slayers. Let's learn the basics of the game. Let's start with that first. This place doesn't look too friendly. Okay. Time 
for some tonic practice. Welcome to Monster Slayers. Your hero's skills are represented by the deck of cards. Left click on a card to play it. All right, so we have attack. Uh, oh, jeez. The text on the, the UI on this game is not great. Like, this really does feel like uh, <laughs> Slay the Spire with slight differences. Anyway, so we have some amount of MP. Can I close this? Okay, unplayed card stays in, stay in your hand until the next turn. You can right-click on a card twice to discard it. Hover your mouse over a card to learn more about it. When you're done, click End Turn. Your hero's equipped weapon adds damage to the first attack each turn. The red bar shows the character's HP. Yellow bar shows their action points. Blue bar is mana. Action points are reset at the end of each turn, so any unspent points are wasted. Mana is spent to play magic cards. Your hero regenerates one mana at the start of each turn. Before you begin battle, you may mulligan by drawing a new hand. You can only do this if you're reasonably sure the new draw will be better. Now let's just start the battle. Okay. So we have attack. Deal three damage to an enemy. Is it one AP or it doesn't? Oh, it's probably three. I don't know. Let's attack him. It didn't cost me any AP. So I guess I can just hit him. And then Dark Spear. Alright, end turn. I'll have to see what the rest of these do later as we go along. Let's see, so for anybody uh, trying to compare this to Slay the Spire, I will say this is a, uh, this, this precedes Slay the Spire by at least a year, year and a half. Uh, so it's not exactly, it's not the same. And should not be, like, this should not be hated for being like Slay the Spire. I'm gonna see if I can mess with the resolution or something. Like, it feels grainy to me. Okay, improvise. Choose one. Block seven damage, gain three AP, or deal four physical damage. Let's attack for four. Oh, he was blocking. Son of a... I should have blocked. Well, I'm in trouble. Uh, gain three magic, then discard the top card of both you and your enemy's draw pile. Draw a card. Well, this doesn't cost me any AP, so it gets me an attack. And we can also summon a critter. Minion. Okay. Summon another minion? How much mana do I have? I'm not entirely sure how much mana I had there. You've defeated the bandit. You gain 5 VXP and 6 gold. Okay, tutorial 2. You find a treasure chest. During your adventures, you will come across various random non-combat events that require you to make choices. Most of these decisions will modify your deck of cards, but remember, a deck... Built with a specific strategy in mind is better than an inconsistent deck full of random cards. Open it. Okay. So, Thunder Slam. 12 lightning damage to the enemy. Enemy also discards the top card of its deck or Mana Spear. 5 pure damage, 1 extra pure damage for each card in your discard pile. Up to 5 cards. I mean, Thunder Slam costs 2 AP. Let's go Thunder Slam. I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to make a bloated monstrosity of a deck uh, for this run, and then we'll actually learn how to do things later. Okay, whenever you defeat an enemy, you gain some EXP and gold. Once your EXP bar fills, you'll level up, regain all your HP. In the actual game, you'll almost always have a choice of which enemy to fight next. Picking your fights wisely will allow you to level up at a strategic time. The higher the enemy level, the more EXP they'll give, but the higher enemy level enemies are much tougher to fight. Okay. Let's fight. So... Ah, attack one costs no AP, attack two costs some AP, and we can summon a minion who kills the guy. Okay, so he gains me XP and gold. You've leveled up, your total, total HP has been increased, your HP will replenish, choose either a reward or a new card to add to your deck. So we can do improvise or dodge. Or I can, I can, oh, okay, so we have four options here. And you're right, we do have blue boots, which are herbalist boots of plenty. Level 1 magic accessory, extra HP from potion drops, and extra card choice from merchants. Cool. Uh, let's see, so dodge. 30% chance to dodge attacks until the start of your next turn. Choices, extra AP, or upgrade a card. Let's upgrade... what is berry? Gain 6 mana, then discard the top 2 cards of both your and your enemy's draw pile. Dark Spear, A Pure Damage. What about Thunder Clap? Let's do, uh, Summoning. I mean, I am a Necromancer. I should probably do necromancy things. Look, you're almost at the end of the tutorial. Defeat the bandit, complete the quest. Let's mulligan. Okay, start battle. 
Yeah, this is good. I'm going to save my mana, I think. So let's do Thunder Slam 2 and kill him. Well, I guess that solves problems. And we also get another accessory, Frost Restoring Staff. A 9% potion drop chance and frost damage per attack. You've defeated the bandit. You gain 5 EXP, 28 gold, and a random item. Level complete. Okay, so we also apparently rank up. Soon I will be invincible. And I have a medal. Cool. Uh, I can spend on something. So all assassins, beastmaster, monks, dragons. Both fine coins, cards, and future merchant. No, that's merchant. Ah, replace an attack one card with bury one in all future necromancer starting decks. Otherwise, we also have enemies have a 20% chance to drop a health potion that restores 15%, or all future heroes start with a di nine additional. Let's go burial for now. Or... Okay. Regenerate an additional two mana per turn. I almost want to see... I want to say the mana regen might be better. Burial could be good. I wonder if I could get to switch these later. Yeah, let's go mana regen. And okay, click on gold nodes to re repick them. Cool. So I can do that whenever. And let's grab the frost restoring staff and grab the boots okay sell junk items and close inventory okay so we have the forbidden desert the volcanic tunnels or the dead forest uh don't have much fame let's see do we have anything that i can do upgrade the trophy slay your handbook reset companion names let's just do the dead forest i probably so this is kind of like a sort of roguelike. But with like heavy meta progression over like just pure death. I'm okay with that actually. Okay, so it looks like traversing the entire level is going to take a while. Well, let's get started, I guess. Do this. Okay. So another he hopeful hero trying to be a monster slayer, eh? Well, it's dangerous to go alone. Choose your companion. Choose a companion. All right, so we can have mage deal 18 fire damage, cool down two battles. Or recover HP, cool down three. Let's go with healing. And what are we going to name our druid? And yeah, why is Northern Lion haunting this game? I don't know. I mean, I guess he'll just haunt away. So what do we, what do we name my, my druid companion that will heal me occasionally? The druid should be Koof. You know, you're you're right about that. Koof has joined your party. All right, so we've got treasure, rogue, lion. Okay, well, let's head for the treasure first. Find a treasure chest. Gain gold, gain a card. Gain a card, we get berry, berry three? Okay, and we have to fight. Oh, okay, so you're locked into your root. Well, let's go fight a spider and possibly die. Okay, you counter a spider, but where it's web and sting. Alright, we have concentrate. Attack and bury. Let's start battle. Let's start with bury. Three mana, discard the top card of both you and your enemies. Discard pile. And we also do concentrate. Now I get three mana per turn, so we probably don't need healing. I could draw a card. Let's draw a card. Dark spear. Uh, I don't have much for discard. But I'll hit him with it anyway. Okay, I can select him to heal me at a later date. Let's do that. Summoning. Chuck a minion at him. And then kill him. Okay. This makes sense. You've defeated the spider. You gain 15 EXP and 2 gold. And we can also get charge up. Draw 2 cards or AP. Nah. Deal 8 frost damage and shuffle a frozen card into the deck. Honestly, what I should probably do is upgrade cards, though. Oh, I still have my Thunder Slam. 
and my higher tier minion. Well, I could get up to summoning three. I wonder if you shuffle your deck in this game. Let's upgrade summoning one. Because these enemies don't have that much HP right now. Okay, so let's do... Start battle. Block seven, four, okay. Well, I've got three AP, so Thunder Slam. Uh, we don't want action points, let's just hit him. And chuck our minion at him, which just wrecks him. All right, going Necromancer might have actually been worthwhile. Holy crap, we were demolishing. I wonder what happens if you hit a dead end in this game. I'm honestly kind of worried about the potential for that. So what's an altar do? I don't know. Let's go fight the undead knight, though. I'm just going to fight things. Okay, you've encountered an... You encounter an undead knight. He can counter magic spells. Has great at defense. Good to know. Does he counter them at all times? Let's try Barry. Okay. So dissipate. Well, in your hand, cancel the next magic card played by the enemy. Deal 12, draw a card. So he hit me with that. So undead knight was kind of a bad move. End turn. Okay. So let's summon my minion. Let's attack him. This guy is a scary, scary person. Let's heal up. So it looks like it can summon kind of freely. And he's doing. Ooh, he does life drain. Ow. Okay, dark spear. And attack. So I'm not entirely sure how his countering magic works. And I level up. So my HP is back up to full. So mana crystal. No, don't need... Don't really need either of these. I could find an item. Let's find an item. We got a new item. A frost blast blessed staff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, I can't equip any of those. Okay, we have a paladin waiting for us. Well, I guess let's just do this. The guiding philosophy of the Paladin Order is simple. What does not kill us makes us stronger. Support. Draw a card. If this card is discarded by another card's effect, draw two cards and recover HP. Or support three regen per turn. I'm going to grab Perseverance. The EXP could be nice. But might help out better. Okay, Vampire Bat. It can fly and drain your life with blood-sucking attacks. Well, I don't have anything to discard, necessarily. But he's almost dead, so that works. Okay, he's not almost dead. Oh, he gets his HP back. Good. And now he's dead. This is pretty snappy, I like it. Ooh, and we got a merchant. Oh, it seems like he needs counter in his hand, which he may not always have. It's luck if he has it or not. Okay, that's helpful. All right, so we can delete our upgrade cards or view wares. Let's see view wares. So I could heal. I'm not too wounded. Magic missile, dark spear. You recover 15 HP, then delete this card and draw a card. Draw a card if this is manually discarded. Well, the hunk of meat is way cheaper. So let's grab the hunk of meat. And then I'm gonna... What? Oh, merchant. Okay, that's weird. I can apparently just endlessly come back to this merchant. Okay, view wares. The other thing we can look at is equipment. Starting AP, attempt dexterity, venom and pure strike. No. Well, let's keep coming back to this merchant. Delete upgrade cards. Do we delete or do we upgrade? Let's delete an attack one. And let's upgrade. Do we upgrade Thunder Slam? 2720. Let's up summoning okay and then we're good 
Okay, so I can come back to the altar at any point, it looks like. So as long as we've seen it, we can go there. That's helpful. Okay, so start a battle. I can do Thunder Slam and Dark Spear in the same round. Oh. Can't kill it, though. Slimes have damage resistance. Well, I got my minion that I can just chuck at him. And I level up. Cool. Okay, so I've leveled up again. Heal. Magic. Heals 9 HP instantly. Reduces your poison and bleeding status. Overhealing becomes block. I feel like I should grab heal. Especially because I can keep doing Spider Queen. Let's come back to that. Let's go for the Feral Lion. Take him out. Feral Lion. Watch out for its terrifying roar. Uh, it's... Start battle. We're just going to summon twice. And one-shot the sucker. Treasure. Okay, find a treasure chest, gain a card, gain gold. Let's gain a card. Health vial. Recover 15 HP, banish the card, or magic missile. Magic missile! I'd, I'm probably going to get, uh, regret that, but I have to. Alright, uh, let's gain another card. We get another hunk of meat. Okay, it was a little fast. Warned that slimes had physical resistance, so magic attacks work better. Yeah, I will admit I'm not uh, reading as much as I probably should. Okay. Uh, train with her, gain action points, or upgrade the cards. Let's upgrade a card. Do we... We can't upgrade magic missile. Weird. Uh, can heal 14 instantly. Yeah, let's upgrade my heal spell. Let's head for the next guard captain. Okay, upgrade a card. So heals 20. Yeah. And let's go fight the, the really easy enemies. Okay, mulligan this because it's a bad, bad roll. Well, I guess this is fine. Start battle. Okay, berry. Berry. Concentrate. Now, I have a ton of mana, so let's draw a card. Improvise. Attack. 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 And zombie is dead. Yeah, a lot of deck management for this character, which is kind of fun. Let's keep going for the weak ones, so I can just wreck them as I go by. Uh, let's just start battle. Let's bury. Gets me a concentrate. Let's draw a card. Let's be summon minion. Attack. And block seven, because he's probably going to hit me. I don't have a whole lot of defensive capabilities here. Here it goes. Let's not do that again, okay? Okay. Kind of want to turn off the uh, voice acting for this game. Listening to the character talk is annoying. Okay, vampire bat. We've already seen that. Let's start battle. I don't have the mana for heal, so let's just do thunder slam and bury. Now I have the mana for it. Let's wait until after its turn, though. Okay, so we have Barry. Summon. I've got plenty of mana. So let's heal, summon, drop a minion on his face, and destroy him. Okay, I'm back up to full health. Or close enough. Uh, Undead Barb? Yeah, let's do the Undead Barb. Okay, uh, let's mulligan this because it's garbage. That looks a little bit more interesting. We got the hunk of meat. Let's manually discard it right now. Attack. Improvise. Let's block. And do that for a little bit of extra damage. So it looks like mana carries over between fights. Undead. So... Undead just heals, blocks damage. Okay, Necromancer is ready. So I've got plenty of AP. Oh, he's a tough sucker. It's weird how slow some of his turns go. Let's bury first. Perseverance. Minion. Which kills him, unfortunately means... I don't heal, but then I level up and heal anyway. 
Hand size has been increased to four, t four cards. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the zombie. I'll probably want to go heal. I think you can equip your items. I think you have to equip your items after you finish a run. I could be wrong. Okay, let's do this. Perseverance. Yeah, let's do Perseverance, Attack, Dark Spear, and Improvise for... Block, Block. Yeah, that extra hand size is incredibly helpful for this. Okay, Summon, Minion. Barry, gain... Th oh, Barry, gain three mana, discard the top card on both. And he's dead. And I didn't need to use my heal. Okay, so let's go to the altar. What does the altar do? I find an ancient stone. Okay, you find an ancient carved stone altar covered in the runes that say, Harbinger does not fear the flames. You run your fingers through the rune. The stone crackles with power. You may investigate it and see what it has to offer. Sure. Plus 10 starting mana, you lose two starting action points. Sure. I'm not sure if that's per round. That could screw me. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. So upgrades and whatnot, kind of expensive. We could get a spell. So magic missile is kind of okay. Now I have temp retaliate. These things. I'm going to get the helmet. Unfortunately, I can't change my equipment until after we finish this dungeon. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, you counter this spider queen, but where it's poison sting, sticky webs, gotcha. Alright, so we've got good stuff to roll with. Minion, attack, and let's do perseverance, because it'll help me uh, avoid the next couple hits. Then we'll hold on to heal, because he's going to make me bleed. And web. Okay, I have to left click to choose a card. That's fine. Wow, it is just wailing on me. Luckily, that physical resistance token is really helpful. All right, let's uh, I could heal six, but I don't need to. Let's draw a card. Let's bury, attack, attack. We have him to heal us up a little bit. And let's end turn. I'm holding on to the the heal spell. <coughs> So the boss doesn't actually do that much damage. It's mostly just an inconvenience. Let's lose Improvise. And Sting. Okay, I am poisoned and bleeding. I am poisoned and bleeding. I just noticed. I am also recovering 3 HP. I have to discard another card? Ah. Oh. This thing is an AP monster. Alright. Well, now's a good time for the heal. So that'll get rid of my poison effects, and then I can just hit it with a minion. 18. Deadly poison. Flame strike. And I'm ignited. Goody. Okay, so... Let's do magic missile. Attack. Attack. Doesn't do that much damage. And then I'm going to eat the food. Did I not? Oh, I think I accidentally discarded it instead of eating it. Okay, Barry. Summoning. Chuck a minion at him. Doesn't kill him. Barry again. Chuck another minion at him. There we go. That was a little closer than I thought it was going to be. You've defeated the Spider Queen. You gained 75 EXP and 5 gold. You've leveled up. Your total HP has been increased. HP replenished. Same usual stuff. Mana charge. Nope. Firebolt. Firebolt might not be bad. Find an item or extra starting mana. Let's do ignite. Let's go with the firebolt. I'm just going to keep messing around with stuff. So I've ranked up again. Replace improvise with bone spear. Or summoning one. Let's get Spearcaster. I don't even know what that does. We've also got, like, this whole area over here. I should probably maybe look into some of these two, but... Eh. Or, oh, I have another one? 
Necromancer tier 3 cards are now available on level up and in chests. And I guess we might as well get this. Okay, so I think we've finished the Necromancer tier unless there's more. Can you respect that? Uh, respect that. I think you can. So, frost damage per attack, physical damage versus undead, push and drop chance, frost damage per attack. Damage one, damage one. Block per mana charge. What is mana charge? What does Retaliate 1 do? I don't know. The Restoring Staff of Shielding sounds kind of interesting, so I think I might try it. It might screw me over. I don't know how these are going to go. I don't know if I can carry those with me. Oh, I could have carried them with me now that I'm looking at it. Oh, well. A little late now, but is life. Okay, Quagmire Swamp, Cyclops, Bandit Leaders, Iron Golems, Knight Champions. Let's go for the Cyclopses. Let's keep rolling forest. Let's do some hunting. I yeah, wish this game had details for effects like uh, Slay of the Spire. It's this. interesting. Go away, Northern Lion. After completing a level, you, your companions grow stronger, gain their two tier, tier two abilities if unlocked. Choose the second companion. Okay, so we can have draw a card and 3 AP or 10 coins, 3 battles. Let's go for the coins. And we're going to name the, uh... I'm just going to have my friends joining me for this one. We'll figure it out. Pass this. Okay, uh, let's check the... Check this. Okay, you find a treasure chest, gain gold, gain card. I don't need that many cards, so let's go for the gold. Undead Barbar- Oh boy! Uh, well... Okay, Undead Cleric can heal and make use of powerful support cards. This is probably fine. Let's do Perseverance, Attack, Magic Missile, and Dark Spear. Reminds me, I should probably use the Thief 1 ability. So let's get some more money. Attack, Attack, Bury. Improvise, let's go with Block. And Summoning for a Minion. Dexterity, too. Oh, support card. Didn't know I had that. Okay, so I want to cast all of these. Let's draw a card. Keep hitting him. Unfortunately, he's got... Yeah, he's got block 5 on. You're definitely going to need more AP per turn. Maybe? I don't use AP that much because I'm a mana base class. Oh, that's interesting. So Perseverance uh, scales. You can cast Perseverance over and over and over again. Okay. That's fun. Yep. Bleh. There we go. But yes, I will need I will need some more AP. That's that's a guarantee. How many things is he doing? Yeah. Okay. Well, concentrate. Give me a card. I've got four mana. So I can just bury him in minions. Okay, so that hurt a little bit more than I wanted it to. I'm wounded, and I pretty much can only go after the undead mage. I might die here. We'll see. Draws a card each time he plays a mana charge card. Let's mulligan. Go for something. Uh, it's okay. Firebolt. Summoning. Minion. Concentrate. Draw a card. Probably should have healed now that I'm thinking about it. Speaking of healing, I should probably do that now. Alright, we've got him halfway down. Okay, this is not looking good for me. Alright, Barry gets me a magic missile. Attack, attack, improvise. Block 7. Yeah, the... 
UI on this just gets really busy. Okay, you've been defeated. Fame collected from this run will be added to your total to unlock ad additional advantages for the next run. Gotcha. Level up. Okay, so I did I did level up. Let's uh let's see. Well, in this case, if I've got one thing, Druid 2, Thief 2. Oh, I see. That just unlocks the starting talents. Well, let's do starting HP. Because we want to get these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of these are absolutely... Can I... Oh, no. You only have one reset per save slot. I don't want to do that. Do the medals on the left do anything? I don't actually know. 